Never let your inner child die. You know, I did a video called uh, Kill the Boy Inside You like a year ago or something, and I, I felt that I need to do sort of a part two to that because I only told half of the story, I think, and when you only go based on that half of it, um, you're, you're going you're gonna to sort of live an incomplete life and uh, it could create some problems. So basically in this video I did called Kill the Boy Inside You, I was talking about killing the weakness in you that has a dependence for like a mommy figure or, you know, someone to take care of you um, because you're not going to get that, you know, in this world or at least in this Western world, right? So you're putting yourself in a position where you can easily be manipulated and taken advantage of by people who prey on someone like you who's looking to be taken care of or, um, you know, so that's what I meant when I meant kill the boy inside you. It's become completely self-reliant, um, you know, but there is a part two to that and that's uh, never let your inner child die. See, there's a difference between having a needy little boy in you that wants to be taken care of and having your inner child, which is just a part of you that wants to stay optimistic and youthful and, um, you know, looking to the future and being open-minded and positive. See, those are two different things. Um, and you never let your inner child die because without that, you're like a dead man walking. See, when your life becomes predictable and just routine and uh, you feel like you've got everything figured out and you're going to live a very rigid, narrow reality and just only try to be close-minded and just accomplish goals and, uh, you know, set nothing but goals and expectations and just spend your life chasing them. And uh, once you accomplish them, you're going to have nothing left to look forward to. See, what I'm starting to realize is you need to be open-minded and optimistic because things change so quickly that your master plan is never going to come true 100%. So it actually makes you feel like uh, like you're a kid again or like you're alive when you're just optimistic and you let go of your goals. You say like, yeah, this is what I'm going to work towards, but honestly, I have no idea what the future holds and uh, I'm not going to try to force my reality to be that. I'm going to just be open-minded and let things come to me because at least for me, things change so rapidly. Like I've had master plans, you know, three, four months ago. And then today I'm doing shit that I never imagined I'd be doing three months ago. And there was no way to even predict it. It was just life gave me that. So by being so close minded and narrow uh, and, and being like this little serious person and only going with what you think you need to do, um, you 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 deny yourself a lot of your blessings that are coming to you and you kill you you let your inner child die and now you're just like a you're like an old zombie in a young person's body right you have nothing to look forward to you have nothing to be open minded about you only want to see things your way and you only want to deal with things that go with exactly what you want and then life becomes very shallow and predictable and that causes a lot of depression and frustration uh, because you're not staying open-minded to new things that life can give you. See, you're never totally going to figure it out, and you're never meant to totally figure it out, because if you did, you would lose your mind from boredom. You know, you never really want to figure out 100% of the life in the universe, because then you have nothing to look forward to. And if you want your inner child to thrive, and you want to be, um, you know, you want to feel like you're alive, you always have to have something to look forward to. You always have to be optimistic to a degree. And um, you, you, you don't want to, how do I say this? You don't want to only do things that you know how to do and that you know how to predict. Um, you want to be open-minded to new possibilities because routine is death. And uh, you, what you were meant to do a lot of the time is so much different than what you think you were meant to do. So you need to stay open-minded so you can receive those signs and signals uh, when they come to you and you don't shoo them away. 
because you have a plan, but what's the how do, the universe or whatever's out there for you has a much different plan, and uh, it's just. <laughs> The, the powers that be are never going to let you f- completely figure things out, right? But it's actually for your own benefit because if you did, uh, life would become extremely meaningless and uh, empty. So it's, it's really a blessing in disguise. It's like when you were a kid, you know, you were always looking forward to seeing that new episode of Dragon Ball Z or getting those new Yu-Gi-Oh cards, you know. When you were in school, it's like that's what would help you get through the days. You're like... You're so optimistic of of what, you know, the things you're excited about. What are they going to be? I don't know. I don't know. That curiosity, that open-mindedness, that looking forward to the future is what keeps you youthful and keeps you going. Um, And you want to always keep that door open, you know, no matter how old you are. And that's really how you, uh, that's really how you keep your inner child alive and keep life interesting and fun. You know, you don't want to get stuck in a routine and uh, you don't want to close off new possibities. So uh, that's just how you, you know, keep your inner child alive.